Okay, here's a possible explanation video. So, here's our bot. It has a lift right there. And it has a potentiometer attached right here. And you can rotate it so it messes up the values when you do this. Um, and it has a single red core motor for the lift, which is attached um, with sprockets and it's a uh, two to one gear ratio. Um, it's two sprockets so it doesn't break. And then from that axle, it's a one to seven gear ratio um, from here to here. So it ends up being one to or 14 to one, I mean. Uh, so it's really strong and it's able to do this. Um, you have to start the match with it at an angle. So it goes right here. It's missing wheel right now, so that's pretty cool. But um, it starts at an angle so it can fit within size, and it's like right at the boundary for size. Um, so, there. It's right at the boundary for size. It has to start at an angle, but it can go up all the way, and then it can go down all the way, and then you score. So it's kind of crazy in that way. We didn't make a locking mechanism in time uh, for states, so this hang doesn't actually work. But this, we can park with that, so it has a pneumatic. This goes up. We can drive over the middle barrier and stick this out. Um, I'll try to get a better angle. Yeah, so we can stick that out and then hang with it. Um, with the pneumatics. So, that's pretty good. And if nobody else hangs, that's good. This is our intake. Uh, it's not zip-tied because the zip-tied broker put, took it off. I don't know. But, um, they're double-acting... Uh, pneumatics like 55 millimeters maybe um but yeah we push those two out and then it holds a tri-ball there and it doesn't really roll out just because the angle these are at and stuff and they didn't get bent which is good because that could have been bad um for the drivetrain it's a six motor drive um double stacked here and double stacked here and then we just changed it um we used like the motor strength chain um and it's geared like something I don't know it's 36 tooth to like 84 tooth so you can do the math um but that's what it's geared in the back and then these motors are weird you tell them to spin at a slower speed and then this um it's like because it has this gear here so like they spin the drivetrain spins at a good speed um then these ones aren't running at full speed um or power so that's how we did it we use this for frame in the back um because it has a lift and then this is the frame for the front, and then it has this part, which the frame is attached to. A bunch of empty space, um, so we could have like put pneumatic painting there, but we didn't. Um, used to have a wheel here, we took it off. I don't really know why, but uh, we also have rollers, a roller, and a roller. Um, and yeah, we have these so we don't get pushed around as much by other bots. Um, back to the lift, I guess, we have a 3000 RPM um, flywheel. So we just use two flex wheels and gears to mount it. It worked pretty well. Um, sometimes it's actually too powerful, but it's really low resistance. We used ball bearings on it. Um, and this is to block that. But yeah, it's a blue motor core, and um, it was really cool. And it worked really well. Um, what else? Uh, this is missing a thing. But for sleds, we just cut into aluminum, uh, like big C channel pieces. So you just cut into that, and um, it works pretty well because, like, if you look, it's pretty tangent to the wheels for the drivetrain. So, like, if you look from the side, it's really good for getting over the bar. Um, and it worked well. It's just that our center of gravity is really far back, so the lift has to be down um, when it goes over. So it can go like that. Like, it has to be generally down. It can't be up all the way, or its center of gravity is too far back. Um, we ran one air tank for the intake and the wings and the hang, but that was fine. We used to have to use, um, like, locking mechanism with Paul, um, and Paul on here. Uh, but yeah, so we just cut one of these pieces. Um, let's go around. We cut one of these pieces, and then we have just some screws screwed in there so it can't get pushed back. Um, so it's angled, so that's one wing, um, and it goes out like that, and then this one goes out like that. And then we don't have a roller in this corner, but we have this roller here, which is kind of awkward, but it fits. Um, we used a high strength axle for this, um, and we just, just 
uh, screwed holes through it, like drilled holes. Um, and that's how we did it. The brain is accessible. Um, refs might say it's not, but it is. You can lift this up, and it's very accessible. So you can do that. Except ports kept dying, so that was kind of a problem. But yeah, that's our bot. Um, we got second in the states with it. And it's just a really wonky bot because it looks very different from every other one and it doesn't have a um, conventional intake. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. This is falling out. I'm not sure what it was for. Uh, actually, yeah, we used screw shafts, so actually you can see this. We used screw shafts for the wheels, so like this went in there somewhere. Um, and you can see that it's worn because the wheel went on it. So, um, yeah, we used screw shafts and it worked pretty well. Our drivetrain was powerful and fast, like it could have been more powerful if we swapped these and had more motors on it, but whatever. So yeah, it worked pretty well. That's our bot, now we're gonna disassemble it.